Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, I think. It's, it's cold. The actual temperature is 54, but it feels like 44, and the winds are blowing about 25 to 30 miles per hour, which is just brutal. It sucks out there. It's not raining right now, so there's that. But I can see Matt out there walking Abby. She's She's pooping. See if you didn't want to poop. I don't know if I can show you. It's like, oh, they're all the way over there. <laughs> I need to make sure I pick up Piggy's food if they come back in, but I don't know what's going on today. It just it feels like we're not even here because we can't do anything. I can't even, I can't even do anything. Maybe one day where it kind of felt like we were here, but I was rushing. I couldn't even walk my fall walk because I had to turn around halfway and get us home in time to have some pool time. It just really, really sucks. But I might bundle up and walk all the way to the end of the sound walk where all the shops are I love. I don't know. But I think I'm just going to do my morning cleanup of the kitchen. Maybe this is a pretty good job of cleaning up it. There's obviously still stuff out. And then, then once we pull it up, I'll figure out what we're doing for breakfast. We have stuff to make, but also we have a coupon for a free dozen donuts. I don't know what day is going to be best to pick those up. We were definitely avoiding Mother's Day because it can be up to a two hour wait to get donuts. So yeah, I have work to do today. I want to get more into this book. I've only read a few pages, so I need to get sucked in. And yeah, just hope this wind goes away, but it's forecast to be here for a couple more days.
Hello everyone, it is time for bed. Sebastian got a little extra time and was working on some Legos. Everybody's just been chilling so far. I think Yvonne and Jax and Danny are done watching a movie and Laura and Matt are working on our puzzle. You can't be on the video yet until you get your game. Yeah, you get them on so everybody can chat with you too. I honestly don't know what I have filmed because not much happened. We, Danny and I walked together to pick up donuts. We brought Siggy and the boys stayed back at the house with everybody else. We had a coupon for a free dozen donuts at Duck Donuts. And you don't get to watch them being made anymore because of COVID. They have that section closed off and they just come to the door and call your number and hand you the box. So that's sad, but I want them to keep safe because not many people wear masks around here. But I did a lot of reading. I'm dealing with cramps, which is also fun and, and all that, but at least everything will be done by the time, well, the worst will be over by the time we're stuck in the car for so long. And I mean, the weather's terrible, so what does it matter, right? Around midday, I decided I gotta get out of the house, and it looks, oh my god, you, you're so silly. And it looked like there was as much sun as there was gonna be. It wasn't supposed to rain. It was just gonna be those awful 30 mile an hour winds, but bundled up. And the crew came with me. My goal was to make it all the way to the doggy store and to Duck Cottage, which is another bookstore that has a coffee shop. I didn't need any more books, I'm still reading that one and I'm really liking it so far and I've already bought the boys' books. But yeah, we took the sound. It was really weird looking because of the storm. The water is so low that you could just like walk out for a half a mile. There's like birds and stuff walking where it's normally like waist deep water. Okay, Cornholio, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need TP for your bunghole? <laughs> Don't hurt your nose. It was very sludgy, but hopefully I'll get to see it more beautiful before we leave. I still enjoyed the walk, even though it was super windy at times. We ended up walking back along the street because it was just so windy, but I got to walk the full length of the sound, which I normally do like every day, at least once a day, more, more like twice when the weather's nice. Went to the doggy store. I totally got a new Ziggy cup that's dark gray instead of the tan. That was the one thing I didn't like about my Ziggy cup is the background color. But I figured that, that all Aussie cups were in that color because everywhere I'd seen it in that. Stop! You're supposed to be taking your medicine. I just worked on ma making this bed. As always, some things don't change. <laughs> Go take your medicine so we can brush your teeth. I want you to have time for videos. So, he's he was interested in getting a Ziggy cup, so uh, did I give you my Ziggy cup? I decided he could have the tan ones, so the two tan ones will be the boys cups, and I would get the, the gray one. As I told Danny, that's my excuse <laughs> for getting a new one. I can't get another one unless we had another kid. He's like, no more kids, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. I always get a mixed container. No, can you floss? of dog treats because they make their own doggy treats there in their shop. This is Outer Barks if you ever in Duck. They're amazing. But they didn't have any mixed packs, but the lady so sweetly mixed up a fresh bin for us. She didn't have enough to package up a bunch of them, she said, but there was enough cookies that she could make just one for us. So we got that as well. And yeah, Laura did some shopping, got me into other stores as usual. And then we went to Duck Cottage, which was very crowded, but I was so happy that they still have a lot of COVID protocols in place. They did have a sign up encouraging people to wear masks, but only the employees were wearing masks, but that's, those are the first employees I've seen wearing masks, except for one person inside of the mini market that I got the pasta and carrots from. 
so i appreciated that <laughs> we they have you go one way around the bookshop it's it's like a little circle there's like one shelf along the middle and then books all along the outside and the coffee shops most of one side so waited in line went around and we got some stuff we all got some food items please don't mess this up the, i woke up with the blankets barely on me and like mostly on the floor so i tried to fix it nicely and i got a chai i was smart and i remembered my coffee mug so i poured it into that and that kept it warm on the way home because that wind would have just made it instantly cold but yeah then we headed home everybody needed some more food i didn't eat my apple pastry that i got until i got home and i had some peanut butter sandwiches and some grapes too then yeah i did a lot of reading sebastian got to take a little walk without me you went with auntie laura on your scooter where did you guys go we went to will Okay. We went to the farmer's stand, the tomato shack. I love it. The guy is the sweetest, yeah, absolute sweetest. And I asked to put more banana peppers in. And, and he suggested you try his pepper relish? Yeah, it's actually sweet and not hot. And they don't it, sweet, it, there's a lot of sweet it peppers. It doesn't taste like... It's not it, spicy. It's sweet pepper relish. Yeah, but you did your head. Mm. Yeah, and then... Have you tried it? I haven't. I haven't tried it. I do want to try it. So, yeah. I appreciate that since I was just kind of curled up reading and not feeling great. My tummy was hurting. And, yeah. Then I made dinner. We settled on soup and grilled cheese. It was kind of a split didn't know up until last second if I was doing that or the pasta night. But we did the soup night. I had to kind of double my recipe. I didn't fully double it. Like, I didn't want to get double the vegetables and double the beans. And But I did get double the tomato paste to make more soup. And... Babe, you're messing up the bed. Can you do it off of my blankets? Seriously, I was so cold last night. It's so cold in here that Danny actually wore a shirt to sleep, which never happens. So, yeah, but the soup came out good. I think everything was a good ratio. And Danny made the grilled cheese, and that actually ended up using the entire loaf of sourdough when I was planning. Oh, yeah, we'll have that. We can make grilled cheese and then also sandwiches. So it's a good thing we have the wheat bread, too. We might need more bread to use up all the sandwich and cheese the sandwich meats and cheeses but that was our day like it was just like a weekend day at home except here it just feels like freaking winter here i don't know if you can hear the wind howling yeah, listen. that's the wind it's like constant 30 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 50. the trees are just like <sighs> babe stop did you floss already Let's go brush your teeth then. Do you want to say goodnight? Who's going to say goodnight? Oh, after, while we were on the walk, one of the other things we did was we went to the toy store that's just past the, the doggy store. And he wanted to spend some of his money. I thought it was a great decision to spend part of it here and then still have more because toys are more expensive here. He would have spent a lot more of his money on like a hot wet monster truck or something than he would if he waits and get it gets it at home. So what did you just sign on? Something pretty special. Wanna show them? <gasps> a new puppy for your little family. And what did you guys name this? Daddy and Ivana helped you? I can't remember. Is it Coco Loco? Yeah. So Coco? Which yeah. is an adorable name because I think Coco. Coco, full name Coco Loco. You know Daddy named Fluffy, he named Fluffy Fluffy Kins, and you decided to shorten it to Fluffy, so Coco Loco can be the full name, but Coco, like chocolate, which is perfect because it looks like she walked through your hot chocolate. Or is it a he? He. All your puppies are boys? Okay. <laughs> well, that was what you chose. You spent 15 on that, so you still have eight dollars left of the money that Uncle Ivan paid you for helping paints. And you've got quite the crew to fit into the car uh, when we go home. <laughs> and also, once I get home, I can 
I'll have wacky goggy guppies. Okay, mm -hmm. good thing I don't mind snuggling on at night, but we have to keep them off of daddy's side. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Well done. Yeah, he tosses ah. into the chair. He doesn't come kind of away. He knows they're special to you, but I always grab the nearest one. I don't mean to throw them away. Get quick from out of bed. them out of bed, yeah. Well, let's say good night. I've been talking too long. Good night, friends. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget. Wash your hands. Wash your hands.